Hello everybody, uh, today I'm gonna introduce my new blog dedicated to porcelain figurants and uh, some description about this figurants and some quality of the figurants which we have in our big collection. Uh, my name is Dennis and uh, I am a collector of porcelain figurants, especially uh, German uh, figurants, uh, very antique and very old. Some of our uh, figurants from a collection are about uh, 20, 30, 40 and sometimes even 100 years old and uh, some of them we keep on sale so uh, you can uh, inquire about uh, the quality and probably uh, possibility to purchase some of them. Uh, we have about uh, 500 figurines in our collection, maybe a little bit more, but sometimes we sell it. Uh, we keep a shop uh, in the Eastern Europe and uh, we sell uh, them and collect them. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, show you some of our figurants. This one is uh, pr was produced by the fabric, very famous fabric, Volkstedt, uh, German fabric, uh, about 90 years ago. This figurant depicts a woman uh, who is incredibly uh, huge and wonderful. She uh, has some lace style uh, of porcelain on her dress and uh, she's quite big, it's like uh, 30 centimeters high and uh, she's one of the diamonds of our collection. Uh, we have a couple of, of such figurines in perfect quality. If you look at this wonderful figure, you will see the whole beauty of the, of the production of, the, of this fabric called Volkstedt uh, in Germany and uh, you can see uh, how wonderful they paid attention to and uh, what a beautiful details they try to depict in each of their masterpiece. This figure uh, is quite big and it has some layers of porcelain all around her dress, all over uh, her dress also you can see different kinds of uh, flowers and a uh, red color uh, because as, as we all know that uh, porcelain never gets old, never gets uh, totally uh, wasted because of time. So time only leaves some spots on porcelain uh, if it is damaged. But in general it's wonderful quality and you see some people believe that this is Anna Pavlova depicted in this figure and uh, uh, some people uh, say that it's just, uh, some experts believe that this is just only uh, a woman, uh, perfectly uh, designed uh, fingers you, you can see over here. So each finger uh, has the nail uh, on the figure and of course you can see the flowers on her, uh, as a decoration on her hair. So this beautiful masterpiece uh, was produced quite a lot of time ago and this is just an example, a simple example of all of our collection uh, where we, uh, we, which we we actually uh, uh, d displays for our our customers and uh, display it for all of you. So there will be about 500 or little more uh, units, little more uh, clips. Uh, and of course, I will talk about the history of uh, the porcelain. I will talk about the quality, the great details of each of our figurines. And of course, the most important is that this figurine has a blue stamp, the special blue stamp, which uh, shows uh, the original quality of this figurine, ingenuity, uh, ingenuity of this incredible, uh, incredible porcelain masterpiece. So we will have uh, lots of uh, lots of hours uh, of uh, talking about different kinds of porcelain uh, masterpieces. Now, some of them are museum quality. Quality. Some of them are quite quite uh, unique. Uh, some of them are incredibly incredibly rare, uh, and I will talk a lot about uh, about them. And if some of you are quite interested in uh, in them, so it's uh, possible to purchase uh, them. Uh, so you can of course inquire me about the price. Yeah, that's why uh, I believe that this is uh, this is uh, quite a useful blog. It will be mm, full of details, information about porcelain in general, which which we uh, 
believe uh, is one of the achievements of our civilization and especially German porcelain. The same as, for example, we can talk about cars, we can talk about uh, German uh, airplanes, we can talk about German uh, uh, manufacturing. Uh, everything that is connected to Germany and German porcelain is full of quality. Uh, our family has been collecting this porcelain figurines for uh, about 30 or 40 years. So I'm not uh, the first generation of collectors in our family and I really believe that uh, it will be quite useful and uh, it will uh, give you a lot of information, new information about things which are connected to porcelain uh, and uh, figurines especially. Uh, as for our collection we have uh, different kind of fabrics, uh, different kind uh, of uh, special um, uh, makers and especially Meissen uh, porcelain factory and Volkstedt porcelain factory. Also we have some other uh, like Scheibler Alsbach and some others and I, I really think it will be nice, it will be nice experience that we will uh, share with you, with all of our visitors uh, who are ready to spend a couple of minutes uh, of time per each clip uh, which we uh, are gonna publish on YouTube. Alright. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.